Hey, what's up? It's uh, it's me, Reed. People have been asking me for a while to do cooking videos. Um, I don't know why, but I just got a tripod, and so I figured, hey, let me do a cooking video for you guys. So I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I know how to cook, but I don't know how to do this video. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make couscous. Uh, couscous. Yeah, it's fun. Hold on. So you know what couscous is, right? Um, how do I get inside of this camera here? Hey, anyway, you like my tie? I, uh, I didn't bother putting it all the way on. Uh, couscous, yeah, it's uh, uh, a kind of wheat that uh, is kind of partially processed. It's uh, a little bit before you would actually get to, uh, what do you call it, pasta? Uh, semolina is actually what you call it. You can do all kinds of crazy things with it. It's quite good. Um, but it's also one of the cheapest foods you could possibly eat. So if you are poor, if you grew up like a poor punk like I did, uh, and you're kind of sick of macaroni and cheese, uh, couscous is fucking amazing. Um, you, you could do lentils too, but uh, you get tired of lentils after a while. So, uh, and the best thing about couscous is it takes exactly no time to make it. Well, okay, that's a big lie. Sorry about that. You could slap me if you want. Uh, it doesn't take much time to make it. Um, and it's really easy to kind of remember what to do. So I'm gonna show you what to do. All right, there's only one rule to couscous. That's this and this. See how these are both the same size? That's the only thing you need to know. Couscous is always one part water to one part couscous. This is a lot of couscous. That's a whole lot of couscous. But uh, one part water, one part couscous. You don't gotta have a measuring cup. Uh, don't read your box, or you can read your box if you want and then throw it away, because or recycle it, please. Um, but uh, it's always one part water of whatever part. So this is a glass, and I have another glass that is the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this part full of water, and I'm going to leave this here, okay? So I'll be right back. Well, unless you want to watch me do the water. You want to come with me? Let me show you what it's like to fill a jar, a glass of water. There we go, water. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Now, I have one part water, you see? And I got one part couscous. What I'm gonna do with this water is crazy. I'm gonna put it in a pan. Uh, this is a good pan for it. I'm gonna put some other stuff in there too. But, there we go, see? Oh, all of it in there. Cool. And that's how you start. Now, Put it on the stove like that uh, this is one of these crazy uh metal conducting electricity thing stoves that you just kind of press and it you can do that and the water boils in like a minute but uh if your stove doesn't go that fast it's okay it's kind of hard to be in here Let's see if i can figure this out in a moment i'll be right back i'm gonna let this water boil okay hey guys my eyes are up here um water's boiling well, it's not boiling now because I just took it off, but water is boiling. Oh, no, it's still not boiling. Oh, back on. I'll show you to prove it just in case you don't believe me. See those bubbles? It's boiling. So that's our one part water. Now, if you learn nothing else whatsoever, right now, you can take this, the one part couscous, to the one part water. You can dump all of this couscous in, cover it. Five minutes later, you have couscous. It's done. That's it. That's kind of boring though. Just playing couscous, totally awful. If you're super poor and you don't have any, absolutely anything to put in it, totally is gonna be okay. Um, but there's more exciting things you can do with it. So I'm gonna show you how to do those things, okay? So, these are the things I'm gonna put in the couscous. I got a red pepper. They're actually called shepherd's peppers. Uh, you probably just got regular big red peppers that are kind of tasteless. These are pretty good because they're European. They're gonna carry it. I'm gonna do fun things with a carrot. Um, garlic, a can of peas, cinnamon. You, you can use cinnamon powder. In fact, I was gonna use cinnamon powder, but I'm out. So I'm gonna put a cinnamon stick in it. It'll make it look very authentic. Uh, cayenne, because you want stuff spicy. Coriander. Now, if you're English, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're in Europe, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, if you're in America, you normally call the plants 
cilantro, you know, with the herbs, and then the seeds you call coriander. Turns out in the rest of the world, it's the same thing. And so you have to tell them whether or not you want leaves of coriander, or if you want seeds of coriander. This is ground coriander seeds. So we're gonna put that in there. And the last thing, cumin. That's actually all out. I got cumin seeds. I'll go grab those in a second. So I'm gonna do some stuff with these things. Oh, secret ingredients. Uh, I think these are, mm, cranberries. I'm gonna put cranberries in it. And almonds. So it's gonna be kind of sort of North African, except they would never put cranberries in it. They would put dates, but the thing is, my really hot man ate all of the dates. So we're gonna have to put cranberries and or raisins in there. I think I'll eat the cranberries and then put the raisins in. Oh, anyway, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna peel this. You wanna watch me peel it? Nah, that's kind of boring. You know how to peel a carrot, right? I'll be right back. Again, my eyes are up here, but um, it's okay. You can you can look down here if you like. Uh, I got this carrot. I've already peeled it, like I said. Uh, it's all nice and uh, all nice and uh, um, peeled. And then uh, I'm gonna cut it. There's no right way to cut a carrot. In fact, carrots of any vegetable are the most difficult to cut in pretty ways. So I'm just gonna do this. Let's see, they're not really equal. I'm a little frustrating, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna do that. You gotta be really super careful when you do that. You, you can totally cut yourself. Uh, it's totally okay to do the little, like, make them into carrot coins, as it were, which sounds really cool when you're a kid and then you realize later on, uh, you know, the coins because there's no really easy way to cut a carrot. Um, but yeah, so I'm cutting a carrot. Yes, I am. Cutting a carrot. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna eat the last bit. Okay, so that's a carrot. Now, I washed that red pepper. It's all clean. Now, in the blood of the lamb. Or, no, actually in the sink. I'm gonna chop this too. Peppers are a lot more fun to cut, by the way. I think you can do all kinds of fun things with them. All sorts of patterns. It's always a nice thing to take out the seeds because people don't like to eat the seeds. I'll just eat the whole thing, but I'm not the only one eating this dinner tonight. So, now there's fun things you can do with peppers. If you want to make them look really super fancy, you see that weird kind of white flesh. You can kind of cut that out if you're really, really, really feeling uh, like you want to be fancy. You know, like that. I don't really want to be fancy tonight. Now I got two parts of it. I'm gonna adjust them around a little bit. Do that. Anyway, how are you guys all doing? Oh wait, you can't talk back. You're just watching me, huh? No, that's all right. Chopping the right peppers. I'm only gonna use half of this. I might use a little. Nah, I'm gonna use half. Yeah, I'm gonna use half. So now, that's yeah, okay, red peppers keep pretty well. So I got some chopped carrot, and I got some chopped red peppers, shepherd peppers, paprika they call them here in Europe. Uh, exactly like the spice. Well, I mean in Germany they call it that. Um, everybody else just calls them, well, poivron, if you're French, or whatever. Um, where is it going with this? Oh yeah, now I'm going to put this in the water, okay? Water. By the way, I turned it off because I don't need it boiling at the moment. Whee. This cutting board is really cool. It folds in half. Yeah. So, I just put those vegetables in there. Right there, you like my beer? Um, I found it in the fridge. It was half open. Um, no, it was already open, but only half drank, so I figured why not. All right, so I got some vegetables in there. Now, I am gonna put some other stuff. Like I said, I don't got cinnamon powder. I got cinnamon sticks. Beton de canal, they call them in France. Not so easy to open this. Oh, there we go. Right. I'm gonna put uh, one of them in here. I'm gonna put the smallest one in here. Yeah, smaller of the two. Boom! And then, oh, I told you I was gonna use some cumin seeds. Be right back. I'm not going far, don't worry. Crème de Kuma. Um, yeah. Cumin seeds are, I like cumin seeds better than I like uh, cumin powder. Kumo. 
Um, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some of those in there. Basically anything you're putting in here is gonna flavor the water, which will then flavor the couscous. So, so far, we got cinnamon, I got cumin, I got those vegetables, those are vegetables are fun. And then now uh, we're gonna put a tiny little bit of cayenne, a little bit more. Gonna add some later when you're not looking, by the way. That's how I roll. And then the last bit, coriander. Coriander is also comes in seeds, but I don't have any coriander seeds right now. So oh, there we go. And by the way, if you don't got cinnamon and coriander, um, and you're like, eh, I kinda wanna do something like that, and you don't really wanna use those, you can use garam masala, uh, which is a powder, which maybe you don't have that in your cabinet either, but I definitely recommend it. It's kind of fun. You can make yourself a chai really quickly if you want with that. Um, so now I'm going to start the water to boil and I'm going to give you guys a break. Well, I'm going to take a break and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, it's simmering now. Uh, smells fucking good too. Um, remember when I was telling you I was only going to use half that red pepper? I was going to secretly cheat and put the other red pepper in there, but I decided I'd show you guys doing me doing that just, you know, because I'm one of those honest people. So I'm going to do that now. There we are, and you'll see, oh, look at that, it's garlic. Uh, garlic's fucking amazing. So, just putting it all in. Now you'll see, it's kinda just all, you can't smell it, but it smells really good. I promise, it's really good. Um, and uh, yeah, so now I've got, uh, got the peppers, the carrots, the cinnamon, all that stuff in there. I'll take another swig of beer and say hi. Hi. Uh, next, I'm gonna put in the almonds. So I decided I'm actually gonna eat all of the cranberries and just pick out these almonds. I don't know why there's a bunch of things mixed in here, but do 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 almonds, almonds, cranberry, almonds, almonds, more almonds. It's kind of fun to sing. You gotta sing when you're cooking. Well, actually, you don't have to sing. Um, but, okay, I think uh, you have picked out all the almonds, which means all the cranberries. Mmm, I just need an almond. Oh, those are good almonds. Um, so you can see now, there's some almonds floating in there. Now, the reason why I didn't put them in at the beginning, whoops, cranberry fell in. It's because I like my almonds kind of not soft, and if you boil an almond too much, it'll get all kind of soft, so. I don't like doing that. Sorry, more converse. And I had to do a little other ingredient, actually two. Is the yellow powder? It's turmeric, or turmeric, or however we want to call it. You never want to use too much because it'll get kind of bitter. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit. Mostly just fits for color, um, but it kind of adds this really subtle, I don't know, yellow taste to it. It's really good. Any other secret ingredient? Salt. Because uh, definitely need salt. You always want salt with couscous. If you've got nothing else besides couscous and water, and one more thing, salt. So I'm putting salt in the water. You see I'm not measuring anything, right? You, I guess you could fuck it up, but not really. Um, just, just, just do it the way it feels. Then, I'm gonna put some raisins here. Now, not a huge fan of raisins. And you know why? Because I grew up poor and we'd go to church on Sundays and at Sunday school what they'd give us was raisins. You know those little, uh, what were they called, sun kissed or whatever. And that was cause supposed to be kind of like candy for you. You know, so you got like apple juice and raisins. Now, you maybe know this. Really hard, one of the hardest things that ever happened to me when I was starting to learn French. And I was here, so when people, we didn't say grape, they'd say raisin. Raisin. Um, because like coriander and cilantro, they don't make a distinction. So a raisin, a grape, is a raisin. And a, what we would think of as a raisin, if you're American, is a raisin sec, a dried grape. But I like the word grape a lot. So I put some raisins in there. Uh, one or two cranberries fell in. I'm gonna eat some of the cranberries. My eyes are down here, guys. Um, 
and I'm gonna let that simmer just a little bit longer. Um, all told, it's been about four minutes, I think. Like I said, you could have you could have had this all done before and just added the couscous, covered it, and it would all have been done. But no, it's fun that way. Mmm, smells fucking good. All right, well, I'm gonna uh, I'll be back. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay, here we are towards the end, right? So simmering, right? Now, do you remember that rule I told you guys at the way beginning that you want a one to one? Now, here's the here's the problem. If you simmer this a little bit too long, you're gonna lose a little bit of water. So I'm sneaking a little bit of water in here. Not much, just a little extra, just to kind of bring it back to the two to one. Now, two last ingredients besides the couscous. One, olive oil. Always olive oil. Unless you're doing a curry one, and sometimes you can put butter and it works really well. But doing more of a North African one, yeah, I'm not North African. It's okay. So putting olive oil in it. Oops. Yeah, put olive oil in there. Then canned peas. Of course you can use fresh peas. Who the fuck has got fresh peas? No one does. Or you can use frozen peas. Most people have those. But canned peas. Now open them. Crazy thing, again, for you all Americans, you wouldn't believe this. They totally, you don't ever need a can opener because they always have these like pull top things, you know, like it's a can of soda, which is crazy though, because if you don't know what you're doing, which I didn't know what I was doing the first couple of, uh, well, first year in Europe, I'd always break these and then I wouldn't have a can opener and then the can was useless. And then I cut myself and it was awful. So anyway, I'm opening a can of peas and singing a little song about opening a can of peas. Could strain them. I'm not really gonna strain them. I'm just gonna pour, by the way, I'm pouring them in the sink. I know you can't see that right now, but trust me, the, well, I'm not pouring them, I'm pouring the liquid in the sink. All right, okay, can you see that? Almost all the liquid gone. You totally can't see it at all. Let's, I'm good. But I feel like you guys are kind of missing out on the fun part. Oh, hi, that's my man. Um, he's waiting for dinner. I'm uh, working really hard. Um, and we've moved to gin and tonic now. So, anyway, so the peas are all drained. Uh, go back over to that mirror. That's not where we're going. We've got the can of peas. I'm gonna dump them in the pot. Crazy, huh? Now at this point, the water's simmering. Everything is all done except for the very final ingredient. I'm gonna do one stir, remember pre-measured couscous goes in, now check this out, right, oops, I don't know what that beep is, oh, that's a stove, it's totally modern, it beeps at you, stirring it just once or twice, or I think that was seven times, okay, now, covering it, and then five minutes later, this is going to be totally, completely done. You don't have to do anything else with it. You don't have to drain it, not like pasta, um, or if you're French, not like rice, but I'll tell you guys another time about how the French don't know how to make rice. Um, but yeah, so it's all done, but I'll make sure you guys get to see it before I finish eating it. All right. Okay, guys, it's all ready. This is what it looks like. It's kind of pretty, huh? Um, and it's really good and I'm gonna go eat it now with my man with some lamb that we had in the oven I didn't show you how to make that because I didn't make it we we're just reheating it anyway but thanks and if you like this video uh, subscribe to my stuff and I'll make more okay bye